What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick performance tip. So in today's video I'm going to talk about a tip where you can use styles to quickly speed up your models inside of SketchUp. Uh, first of all I apologize in advance my eyes are really red today. I seem to have some kind of allergies going on and it's driving me crazy but we're going to go ahead and make a video anyway. Um, the other thing is if you're looking for more great SketchUp tips make sure to check out my free SketchUp tips guide at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. This is going to be part of my series on quick tips to make your SketchUp experience better. So it's going to be a lot of little things that you can do that are going to make a big impact on how much time you're spending working in SketchUp. And so in this case, for this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about increasing your performance of your models by adjusting your styles. And um, styles are things in SketchUp that affect the way that your model looks. So you may have played around with them before. They're over in your default tray. If you don't see them, you can go to Window, Default Tray, and click Show Tray, and make sure the option for Styles is checked. But what they do is they really affect everything about the way that your model looks. So if I click between these, you can see how my model is going to look different depending on which one of these I click on. So you can see how each one of these has a different look. There's also a drop down with different like assorted styles and things like that. So you can use these to make your model look like different things like CAD files and things like that. But in this case, what we're going to use these for is we're going to use these to increase the performance of our model. And so in order to do that, we need to understand the way that these work. And so the way that these work is if you click on the edit tab, there's things in here um, that adjust everything from if your edges are shown in your model to if profiles on your lines are shown. You can also adjust the way textures are loaded, the background, different things like that. And all of those things, um, you, you can almost look at them as having a processor cost inside your model. And so what that means is for each one of those, um, they're going to do a different thing. But depending on the options you select, they're going to make your model run faster or slower. And so for, for this example, I've used a model from the 3D warehouse. It's a city block of urban apartments from Doug Doug EOP. And if you look at this, you can see how this model has a whole bunch of different polygons in it. What that means is it has a lot of different edges, which means that SketchUp has to work harder to display all of those edges. And so one of the things you might notice as I fly around in this model is when I fly around in this model like this, when I let up on the orbit, when I let up on my middle mouse button to go out of orbit mode, you can see how it's going to take a second to almost think, and then it loads in a series of thicker lines um, on top of the lines that are already in here. And so I'm just going to accentuate that by making my profiles a little bit thicker. So we'll make them maybe, I'm really going to kind of overdo this, but we're going to put these profiles up to 10. What you're going to notice when I navigate around this model, and then I let up, it's going to stop for a second and then it's going to load in all of these profiles. And so that's fine if that's the look you're going for, but what that's doing is that's loading in an additional profile line on most of these edges inside of this model. And so on bigger models like this one, what that means is whenever you navigate around, you're going to get a little bit of lag. And so one thing we can do about that in order to slow down or in order to speed up your performance is just go into your edit mode in any of these styles and just uncheck the box for profiles. And so you can see how when I uncheck the box for profiles, all of a sudden navigating around in this model is a lot faster because it's not coming back in here and reloading those thickened edges where the profiles are. And so the other thing I want to bring to your attention when you do this is when you uncheck that box for profiles, you get this little clock right here. So you see the little clock up at the top and I'm just going to click this button real quick to save these changes. But what the little clock means in this case is if I go to my in model styles and I look at this one, you can see how if I mouse over the little clock, um, it's indicating that this is a fast modeling style. So any of these styles in here that have a little clock on them mean that they're going to be significantly faster than the ones that don't. So like for example, if I was to select this brush strokes on canvas, um, you can see how that one's going to be a lot slower and it's going to have a lot poorer performance because it has to load all your lines and edges. It has to lo load the overlay image and it also has to load in the jittery lines. So because of that, um, it's not considered a fast modeling 
clocking style because it's going to work really slow. But any of these that have the little clock next to them, if you click on them, you'll notice that when you fly around, this is going to work a lot faster. And so the other thing you can do, and this is going to become really important when you get more high resolution textures in a model. So this model just has the SketchUp default styles, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. The other thing you could do if you get a really big model, and it's taking a long time to load in these textures, is you could come into the Edit tab, and under Face Settings, you could set up a style where all of your faces are shaded instead of loading in the actual texture images. So if you'll notice, when I click on the shaded mode, what that means is now all of these walls, instead of loading in and tiling that texture image, which can be really slow if you have high resolution images in here, you could set this up with a shaded mode um, style that's going to be in here um, that isn't going to load all of those different textures in. And so um, between that and turning profiles off, this can really quickly increase the um, this can really quickly increase the performance of your model. And so the other thing I want to say about this is really consider creating, depending on how big your model is, creating a view and a style um, with uh, the different looks that you're going for, the different performances that you're going for. So, like for example, let's say I wanted to have a style like. We'll go with this 3D printing style for right now. So this is one of the slower styles in the sense that it has to load all those profiles in. Well, what I would do is I would just go up to view, animation, and I would add a scene, and I would go ahead and I would name this something like um, apartment styled or something like that. So that would be my view that has the style in here that I want. So I could keep that in there so I could transition to that style really quickly, but then I could also create a view with a faster style like this architectural design style. And let's say that I was to turn shading or shaded mode on in here and I was to save this, I could create another view and we could call this something like apartment fast view or something like that. Well, since style information gets saved in these scenes, now I can create a scene where I can fly around here really quickly and do work on my model. But then when I want to get back to that styled view that I liked, I can just click on this tab right here. So that way, anytime you need to do some work, you can just flip into your fast view and fly around really quickly. And then anytime you want your style back that you had before, you can click, you can click on this tab over here. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this. Did you know about this? Have you been using it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.